Yes, hi guys, welcome back again. Someone also asked a question, what happens to babies born in Qatar to non Qataris? What we call the non Qataris is if baby born to nanny residents in Qatar. What are you supposed to do? Or definitely, what's the better way for you to do if you have a baby born here in Qatar and you are a resident in Qatar? First of all, something that you know to, you have to understand or something that you definitely have to, uh, to know is that all babies or oh, despite of other nationalities born here, if a baby is born in Qatar, it's not entitled to Qatar citizenship like any other countries, maybe in Europe, where they say the baby born in that country will automatically get what you call a citizenship for that country. No, it may not be that case. For, for here, it's not the case. If a baby born here is not entitled to citizenship according to the law. However, if you want your, to stay here with your baby, since the baby is born here in the country, definitely you need also to meet up with other requirements. Those other requirements that you need to meet up is the residence permit. Also, the baby must have what you call a residence permit um, being printed for that baby. But for you to get a residence permit, that means you have to register for what you call a birth certificate for your baby. That birth certificate will be applied for at what you call the women's hospital where uh, they are only authorized to issue what you call birth certificates for born babies in Qatar. So what happens again after you getting that birth certificate, it is that birth certificate that you will take to the embassy that represents your country for stamping and definitely remember before I told you that when you go to these embassies, we don't think the sun, most of these services are for free. You need to pay up a given amount of money or you'll pay some amount of money. So after paying, they will stamp it, they'll assert it and that stamped copy, you'll have to take it to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for assertion or that after that stamping, Definitely, you'll have to get a passport for your baby. Because remember, when we talk about a passport for your baby, for you to get a residence permit, you need a passport and you need a birth certificate. Or you need a passport for yourself. And you need a passport for the baby. I think get me right, clear now. So, you find that for you to get a residence permit for that baby, you have to work up that process and you must get a passport for the baby. Then you will apply for what you call a residence permit. But remember, both parents, if you are in Qatar, you should have valid residence permit and you should have work or you should be earning or you should be paid salary because they definitely have to request the request for your salary certificates from the company you are working because this is a baby that has to be taken off, uh, care of and this is meaning you need to have where you need to have an accommodation or you need to have a, a, a rented place where you are going to stay with the baby as a family and also something that definitely i need to remind you looking at the laws in the country or looking at qatar and the laws in the country you must be both of you must be married you must be officially married and you must must present or must have what you call marriage certificates or must have certified marriage certificates hope i've tried to share something for you uh, not to have problems in yourself. Hope I've tried to share some things for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as I try to go into uh, some of these questions that definitely you need to answer, to need to understand, and need to find out exactly what you need to do. Remember, uh, something. Uh, uh, remember, when we share some of this kind of information, it helps us, us to improve ourselves and get to know one or another and get to know some of these important things that definitely may not be very easy to know in one way or the other. See you again in the next video. Remember, Iron Man makes giving you all these updates. Thank you so much. See you again.